In this video, let me show you how to calculate the age of a person using simple JavaScript. So the user will be entering his date of birth in a particular format and from that we are going to calculate the age of that person. So to illustrate this, I have already saved a web page. Let me add a title, check your age and in the body let me have a text box to enter the birth date. So label 4 equal to birthday enter your birthday and a text box that is input type equal to text id equal to birthday and as i want this in a particular format i am adding a placeholder with yyy slash mm slash dd because we want to convert this into a date format value. That is why I am adding a placeholder so that the user will enter the date in this particular format. Let me also add a button with ID check and text also check. Now we have the input ready. Next we can add the script section where we are going to write the code. So script and first let me add the click event on this button. Okay. So let me write document dot get element by id the id is checked and i want to add the event listener so add event listener the event is click and on this i need to have the function and inside this let me call a function that is get age this is the function we are going to create and let me get the value so document dot get element by id the id is birthday so birthday dot value this will give us the value of the text box okay now let us write the function here let me write the function like get age so function get age that is a name we have given here and let me pass the date string that is a value entered inside this this is the value we are going to pass and let me write the function what we first need to check we have to check it with the current date right so i need to get the today's date and also the birthday in the date format so let me specify where today equal to new date this will give today's date in the particular format and let me also specify birth date equal to new date of date string that is a value we are getting from the text box and if this is not in the proper format we will get invalid date as a message so we can check if birth date equal equals invalid date what we can specify we can display a message alert enter the date in proper format okay in the else part we are going to write the code that is to get the age so what we need to do we need to check the year difference, month difference and date difference. So first let me get the year and month difference. So let me specify where age year equal to today dot get full year minus birth date dot get full year. So what we will get? Suppose the person's birthday is on 11th November 1983. So 2023 is current year 2023 minus 1983 means it will be 40 but is the person 40 years old no because only on 2023 november 11th the person will be 40 years so we need to first check the year difference and then we will make another check also so this will give as of now suppose i enter the birthday as 1983 november 11th so what will be age year it will be 40 because today dot get full year will be 2023 minus 1983 means it will be 40 but the age is not 40 it is only 39 so what we will get we will also get where age month equal to today dot get month minus birthday dot get month so what will be the value today dot get month will return 4 because it is april now and birthday dot get month will return 11th because this month is 11th so 4 minus 11 will be negative 7 so if the value is less than 0 then we need to subtract this value by 1 
because the person is only 39 and similarly we need to check the date as well so here we will get the date as well that is where age date equals today dot get date minus birth here not birthday it is birth date birth date here also birth date dot get date i missed brackets here here and now the values are collected so age year will give the difference in the years month will give the difference in months and age date will give the difference in dates now if age month is less than zero that is if it is a negative value what does that mean we need to subtract one from this age year and similarly even though the age month is zero and age date is less than zero then also we need to subtract one from this age year so here we will specify age month less than zero or age month equal equal zero and age date less than zero in both these cases what we need to do we need to subtract one from the age year hope you understand the logic i will explain it once again before that let me show you the message we are going to give you are age year you are 40 years or 30 years old okay so what we have done here, we are collecting the birth day of the person and we are calculating the age year, age month and age date. That is age year will give the difference in the years. That is current dates year and birth dates year. Suppose the person's birthday is on, to avoid confusion, let me specify 10th, 1983 November 10th. So as of today, today is 5th of April 2023. Okay, so as of now, what is the age of that person? He will be, he or she will be 39 years old, right? The person will be 40 years on 10th November of this year, that is 2023. But when we subtract 2023 minus 1983, we will get 40. But that is not the age because November is not yet reached. So we need to check the month difference. So today dot get month will give us april's value 4 and birth dates month will give us 11 so 4 minus 11 it will be minus 7 so here we are making a check if age month is less than 0 that is age month has not reached yet in this case this is true so age year will be subtracted by 1 which means the age will be 39 now suppose a person's birthday is on april 10th itself so until 10th, the person is again 39 only, right? This is 4th, that is month is April itself, but the date is today 5th. For the person to become 40, the date should be 10th. So what will be the condition? Here, this will be satisfied. Age month is equal to 0 because 4 minus 4 will give us 0, but the age date will be less than 0. That is, today's date is 5 minus birthday's date is 10. So, 5 minus 10 will give us negative 5. So, the age will be again 39 only. So, this condition will be true. So, in both the cases, if the age month is less than 0 or age date is less than 0, we are subtracting 1 from the age year. Okay. So, you will get you are age year years old. Now, let's check. Let me save this. So, this is the page we have developed. Let me enter the date 1983 November 10th and check see oh we are getting you are nan years old so there is some error in our code let me check that okay here i haven't put the brackets okay i think that is the error let me save let me refresh 1983 slash 11 slash 10 and check okay see you are 39 years old now suppose instead of 11 10 let me enter 0 4 10 Still, we are getting you are 39 years old. Now, suppose I enter 1982, 11, 10. See, we are saying you are 40 years old. Now, suppose I enter 2000, 0, 6, slash 11. Then we are saying you are 22 years old. So, this is a code we have developed using JavaScript to calculate the age of a person. We are just calculating the difference in years month and date and if the month is less than zero 
we are subtracting 1 from the year value also if month is 0 and date is less than 0 that is the difference in date is less than 0 again we are subtracting 1 and we are displaying the message like you are dash years old this is how we can calculate the age of a person using simple javascript